Good morning, friends. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's time for the Thursday scrape. Just after 5.30 a.m., getting ready for work. A little bit of the insomnia, but not too terrible. I've been up since about 4, so let's get going. What are we shaving with today? Quick pre-work shave. We're going to be using the Lord Tech, which is a Gillette Tech clone. It's got a Gillette 7 o'clock Super Stainless. I think those are the Black Beauties or Black Ninjas. Finish it up February. Still working through the Nivea Cream. Still working through the Leah Shave Stick for the brush. We'll be using the It's Just Shaving Group Brush for the post. Panade Clubman. This is a very nice scent, very classic. Not something I typically wear on a daily basis or even when I'm going out because it can be kind of strong. But it's what I'm wearing today, so let's get to work. All right, hope everybody's doing well. I'm all right, fresh out of the shower. Cup of coffee brewed. Getting ready to face the day. Should be a pretty good day. Busy day at work ahead. A handful of patient visits. All that good stuff. So, speaking of coffee, Pete's Dark Roast. I forget the name. It's Major something or another. Um, it's their darkest roast. Machine ground, burr grinder, French press, vintage mug, delicious cup. Everybody have a good morning. All right, let's get going. Not much to report since my last video, but I figured I had a little time this morning. Put one out. Super, super close to the uh, the YouTube payout threshold, I think. Um, so the contest should be live in the next month or so. Once they give me the, the okay, I think I... Uh, I think my account balance right now is $97 and some change, and they pay out at 100 so once that hundred dollars hits, we'll be having a contest. Gosh, too much water in the brush. Having a contest, giving away that first paycheck to that first YouTube check to one of my supporters. I will be giving that out in the form of a gift certificate or a money transfer, so that you can buy what you like. Because I know most of my channel viewers, most of my internet friends or wet shave enthusiasts, but some are not. So I figure if they stick around and watch the videos, they'll get a chance to earn a little a little prize, whether it's shaving related or not. They can use it for whatever they want. So be on the lookout for that. Like I said, that I should break that threshold here in the next, I don't know, by the end of this month, hopefully, Nothing is ever guaranteed with the, the view income, but I think I'm averaging a couple of bucks a month income. So, like I've said before, it's really funny that, you know, the shave videos are what is my bread and butter, my constants. But the cooking videos and the cooking gadget reviews are some of the most highly viewed videos I have. And the spicy challenges. Even though there's only a few, one, one or two of those when I was trying to do that super spicy fire noodle challenge. Sometimes I think it takes me longer to get all the extra lather off my face than it does to actually shave. Maybe I should pay more attention to that. All right, what else? Like I said, that's really about it. Uh, we caught a pretty significant cold front here in Central Texas over the past couple days. From the Facebook posts I've seen this morning, it snowed last night. Snow in February. Well, snow in Texas is... I don't want to say unusual because we usually get maybe one snow event a year or ice. I guess freezing event. 
So we got a little snow. I haven't heard any tales of accumulations or road closure, so it must not have been bad. Um, maybe like an inch or a half inch, I think. Kind of based on some of the pictures I saw. So yeah, just a little snow. It, it's probably already melted. Hopefully it'll be melted by the time I get on the road. And I was dead asleep when it happened, so no big deal. But we, if we get a little snow or ice event, it's usually in January, February. I remember a few years back, I was still working on the ambulance. And it was, uh, it was Valentine's Day. And we had a snow day, so... Mid-February snows here in, here in the area are not uncommon, as far as that goes. Still cold out there? Probably. Some of you guys are in much colder temperatures. But, you know, 30, 32, that's, that's cold weather for us here. I was joking with a coworker yesterday. That's why we live in Texas, so we don't have to deal with this cold, right? <laughs> I mean, one of the reasons. And I made that joke to a, a second coworker because I recycle jokes. That's what I do. But she is a tr California transplant. She just looked at me and she was like, no, I live here because it's cheap and affordable. <laughs> Those of you who view from California know what I'm talking about. Apparently the cost of living is pretty high there. That's why all the Californians are moving to Texas. Because the climate is similar and it is way more affordable. Pricing me out of my future home. Anyway, I don't know, man. It's a weird morning. Slept pretty good. Like I said, woke up around 3.45, 4 o'clock, somewhere around there. Couldn't get back to sleep, which isn't bad. I went to bed kind of early, around 9.15, 9.30. I don't know exactly what time. I laid down in bed, but I read for a little bit, so. Oh, the other thing that happened last night that was dumb is I was laying in bed reading, and my phone goes off. And it's a text alert, and I'm like, who's texting me so late at night? And of course, my first thought and hope is always, you know, it's the lady with a sweet nothing, but this time it was not. It was my bank saying, hey, there's been a $128 charge made on your card. And I was like, son of a biscuit. I was like, well, I just got hacked. I was furious and then of course got out of bed hopped on the big computer because I hate doing stuff like that on my phone go hop on the big computer and the internet is slow and bogged down like crazy probably everybody uploading pictures of the snow but uh so it took me forever to finally get logged on to my bank account Found out that it was a charge from Amazon, so I was like, okay, so did my credit card get hacked? Or did my Amazon account get hacked? So I hopped onto Amazon looking for recent purchases under my account, and there were no, no recent purchases that I hadn't made. I think the last thing I bought was some rubber mouthpieces for my hydration bladder that I use when I ruck. So that was the last thing, and Surely those were not $128. So I started thinking and thinking and racking my brain trying to figure out what had happened. And of course the computer was running super slow. Or the internet really, because the computer is pretty fast. So I finally got onto the bank website or got it to open the like the pending statements and stuff. It was my Amazon Prime annual renewal 
They never sent a, a, a renewal notice or a reminder. It just hit. <laughs> so it, I was just like, well, at least that mystery is solved because I was going to be furious if I had to, you know, cancel the credit card and call the credit card company. That's such a hassle when you get hacked like that. And then you've got to try and remember who all, what all accounts you have on auto pay. And then when you wait till you get the new card so you can convince them, you know, change the information and hope that you don't have anything try and clear while you're waiting for your new account to be activated. It's such a pain in the butt. <sighs> but luckily, counting my blessings, it was a non-issue and it was just my free shipping and book lending and all that access that you get when you sign up for Amazon Prime. Half of which I never use. I barely use the uh, their movie service. But in my opinion, that's what makes it worth it. I mean, it's 120 bucks a year. But if you figure you're, you pay for Netflix. Netflix is like 10 or $12 a month, so it's about the same. But you get access to their lending library and free shipping on stuff you order from Amazon, which if you order a lot, it makes up for it in, in and of itself. Anyway, that's a lot of rambling about nothing. This is a pretty nice quick shave. A little missed spot right there. Let's see. That's better. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of cold weather and whatnot, because this is just a random chat, because I don't know why, um, got a text message from my brother in New York, getting ready for the, ooh, a little over shaving down there, getting ready for the uh, trip, he was just saying, hey, just be sure and pack some warm clothes, we're expecting a winter cold front, gonna get down into the 20s and teens, they're expecting six inches of snow, which apparently is not a big deal for them, but for me, that is a big deal. I've never flown in the snow, so I'm kind of concerned that I might end up getting uh, stranded, which would be not pleasant. I mean, extra time with my brother couldn't be a bad thing, but I would probably be stuck at the airport waiting for a plane or something dumb like that. So anyway. So yeah, so that's coming up this weekend. It's going to be cold. Talked to a coworker who grew up in that area. He was like, that weather report is a non-issue. He said they fly in that stuff all the time. He said, it is a little disconcerting when you're at the airport and you look out the window. And they're blowing the pink de-icer on the plane. He said, but no big deal. So <sighs> looking forward to seeing my brother. Not looking forward to the reason why I'm going, but it is what it is. Trying to go light on the panade because it can be such a strong scent, but it is a classic scent. A nice traditional barber shoppy scent. More spicy than powdery though. All right, and then we'll let that go off and we'll seal it in with a little bit of the Nivea. I actually think putting that straight on the face and rubbing it in is a better technique. Uh, hopefully this will protect against the cold wind today. All right, friends, that is the Thursday scrape. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. Um, I appreciate all the support. Like I said, contest is coming up. I'll be out of town this weekend, so there may or may not be a weekend video. Um, although I've been skipping the Silky Smith Sunday anyway. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. 
Hope you have a great day. The weekend's right around the corner. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Whatever you do, you go spend some time with your friends and family because it's really important. I'll see you next time I see you. Have a great day. God bless.